Hi, Georgia Burns here. Welcome back to my card making. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Take two. Right. Story so far. I made this card. So I decided to film it for you. And then this is 5x7. So I decided to do a A6 size like we normally do. But it didn't work out. This is supposed to slide in the pocket. Now I did have it in. It did go in, but it won't go in anymore. Oh, it's going in. But I figured out where I went wrong. So I'm going to make it again. On this one, I glued down the sides there without making a flap, which would have made the insert to go in easier. So, I'm going to show you the proper way of making it. So this one will go in the bin, so it's no good. Right, I've got a piece of card of ten and a quarter by four and four. Five eighths. Yep, four and five eighths. Ten and a quarter by four and five eighths. I've also got, sorry if I'm sniffing, a piece of card at yeah, four and one eighth by five and one eighth, which will go on our top. I've also got a piece of card at three and seven eighths. By three and seven eighths by five, and that's going to sit on top of there. I will tell you all this when we get round to doing it. But first, let's make the pocket. I'll bring in my uh, trimmer. We're going to use this to score. All right, you want to put this in a quarter of an inch. Long ways, quarter of an inch, and score. Turn it round and put it in at quarter of an inch. And score. Turn it long ways at five and one eighth. And score. Right. Now then, you can put this back in at quarter of an inch. And with your trimmer, bring it down to the five and one eighth score line. Just cut just down to there. Right, you need to do the other side, so you need to turn it over, put it in a quarter of an inch, and cut down to the score line. and then we'll chop these bits off with some scissors. So that's all you've got to do with the black. Now, I have got another piece of white at three and seven eighths by five and seven eighths. I think that's five and seven eighths. Yeah, by five and seven eighths. Long ways, you want to put this in at three quarters of an inch and with your cutting blade you're going to cut down to five and uh, sorry one and five eighths so one and five eighths no one and a half to one and uh, let me stand up 
I can't see yet. One and a half. And you're going to do the same the other side. Put it in at three quarters of an inch and cut down to one and a half. And you've got two flaps. Right then, you want to put it into one inch. And with the score blade, just score a little mark just there and do the same the other side one inch and just put a little score just there and there we'll come back to that afterwards and that's all we need our trimmer for right I'm bringing this back in and with my paper snips I'm just going to cut these bits off and I'm cutting them just at a little angle. Now I didn't cut that. Very well. Still see the score line. It's better. Right, and then we fold this up and burnish that five and one eight. Right, you fold it in half and you burnish it. Now the knees you just fold up and burnish them. The same as this side and burnish. Now I am going to just take a slither off the top here just so that it won't show when we fold it in half and then we're going to glue that down like that to make our pocket Sure you push them down and use your burn folder and rub it down. And there you have a decent pocket and it will fit in your um, message and the collar hopefully better than yeah that's a lot better all right so that's how we made the cop the proper um, pocket so we'll pop that to one side and the collar we'll do that in a minute and we'll bring in this in now what I done with this was I took the die with the collar on it, placed it in the middle, hopefully, and drew round it with a pencil. Oops. I never got my pencil out. Where is it? Right, 
Hopefully that's in the middle. And I just threw around it like that. Put that back there. And then with my big scissors, I cut it out. So we've got to be, and then I cut the whole thing in half. So we've got two halves with the V. Then I placed them together like this. So that's the top, and this is the bottom. Right, at the bottom, I took a wedge out, just a wedge to form the bottom of the jacket so we can see the comma band. Now these will get stuck on here like this. Like that. But first we need to stick this on here. So let's stick this down. I'm trying to remember what order I did it in. Now this has to be right to the top of the pocket. Doesn't matter about the sides either side, as long as we've got. go either side like that now then we need to put down the button band which we've already cut out which is this long bit and we need to do that so it's right in the middle and just glue that down and then we'll trim it off. Trim off what we don't need. Right, put that back on. Put that back on. And that also has to go right to the top. Quickly shift them out of the way so they don't get glued up. And trim off the excess. We don't need them. We don't even need it to be at the bottom because we're going to put a bit of a cummerbund on. Now I have got some tartan here from um, the Christmas catalogue plaid packet. Now I need to cut this because it's far too big. So I'm going to cut that down like that. I don't even need that much. Just a little bit to go in like that. So I'll cut off a chunk there. And this is just going to sit right at the bottom in there to disguise the to hide the black at the bottom and that is the comma band so we'll stick that down make sure it's not over the top Right, and that can go like that. Okay, 
Now we can stick these down. No, we can't. We have got the collar, which I've already cut out, and we're going to cut this in half. Like that. And we're going to stick these that way on the side of the jacket. That will hang off at the bottom. Like that. That's all right. You just trim it off. right on the edge and then trim up the bit on the bottom now we can stick these down Flush with the top and the bottom and the sides. Again on this side, flush with the top, bottom and sides and there we have a jacket top oh I've got a little bit off we need to cut out some buttons and the pocket uh, where's my card? Oh, here. Yeah. yeah, we need to cut out some buttons and the pocket and the tartan bow bit. So let's do that. So I need some black for the pocket and some buttons just uh, text my sister and tell her I'm filming maybe not sorry about this go away more than like to ring the house phone if she doesn't see that text right there's a pocket some buttons 
All right, what else do I need? A bow. I do have a black bow, but I want a bit of tartan bow to stick on the top of it. Um, and I also need the knot. So, bring this in. Not oh, got a bit too high. There's the knot. There's the bow. Get rid of that. Right, that's got a good look glued to that. Turn that round. Yeah, it's better. Um, put that out of the way. That's got to go on. I need a little bit of tartan for the top of that. And that's the neck. That's the buttons, right? That's all we need. Let's Right, there's our ticky go, we'll keep for a minute. And yeah, that'll do. And we'll just glue that on there like that. That's a bit much. Only need a little bit showing. And we'll stick that there. Now we're going to stick these buttons on. Um, I did find it easier using tweezers earlier on, so we'll just, now this one, I don't want it right on where the, I want that there. This one right down here. Um, that one can go there, seems as it fell there. one in the middle. That's it. Right then, I'm going to do the collar. If you pop the card into your pocket, sure it's even both sides. Now with these top corners here, can you see them? 
you need to bring these top corners into the middle of the bit that's cut like so it'd be like in the middle of the button band and then press it down do the same with this one so the top corner twists round to the middle there and squish down and get your bone folder and squish it down and then that will come over the top of your uh, pocket and your dicky bow will glue onto there and it will come down behind the pocket right now then we um, did a little score mark it's because we're going to shape the shoulders so you want to cut from the score up to where it's folded like that and do the same the other side cut from the score up to the shoulders that is to stop it showing at the sides here that's to stop it showing there now before we do anything else we need to stamp it and we need to stamp a ha a happy birthday to you and just stamp that there now if you stamp it on the wonk so it's not straight you could add a piece of card over the top of it right then I am going to glue take this out and we're going to glue just along the top here on both sides to keep it folded down so that's just the top folded over and it won't go up alright the dicky bow you want to pull up the wings place a bit of glue on the where the knot would be and glue that on the button band Let's lift up there glue that on there hold it down make sure it's glued really well I've got a bit of white there showing from the top I'm going to obviously didn't put it in really straight slide under the knot like that and that is the card right I have another piece which one's this three and a half no it's this one this three and a half inch piece because I have made a stand 
to make it stand up like that so it stands up on the shelf wherever you display your cards now we need to score this bring in your scoreboard this is three and a half inches I'm sure oh no it's three and three eighths by two and a quarter so we need to score this at one and five eighths one and five eighths and then two and one eighth Five eighths that way. Oh. Right, um, I'll tell you what it is. One and five eighths and two and three eighths. One and five eighths and two and three eighths. And fold it down. Uh, burnish it. Now this is a bit off. Right. Now then, we're going to go up a bit. So I'm going to, no I won't guess it. There's my ruler. I'm going to mark it at half an inch. And half an inch there. What I'm going to do is from this half inch mark to the first score line cut it off. Same as this from the first score line to the half inch mark cut it off. That's so when you stick it to the back and it leans on it it will lean at an angle so it will be displayed at an angle and what we need to do is glue this to the bottom of your card in the middle with the straight bit facing the top. So I do have a die where you can make a, a fancy card stand. will make one yourself that you can just put in the envelope because this will go in a normal envelope and there you have it your card with a stand hope you like it if you do give us a thumbs up if you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. Um, if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.